All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one. Yes, it's been a while. I'm sorry, I'm busy, but uh, I want to just share a fun little story. Uh, last week, I was able to go to Daigo's big tournament. Uh, let me just show you a little photo here called Beast Cup. This is actually probably the biggest offline Street Fighter 6 event in Japan to date. Something like 600 entrants or something. Really, really cool event, and it's just the, the start of many, right? I just went for fun, support the event, but as things would happen, you know, as the wheels of fate turned, my opponent here, which I did not expect, if you've been following along, remember this video? Remember this video? This 11-year-old child will destroy you in Street Fighter. So we talked about this kid, Leo. So this guy, Leo, again, if you didn't watch it, real quick recap. 11-year-old, as he says, he was in Daigo's Invitational event. He showed up out of nowhere. He destroyed this pro player, a Street Fighter League player named Sasuma, who was fighting for his visa. He wanted to stay in Japan. He got smoked by Leo. Absolutely destroyed and, you know, like the title says, he will destroy you. This guy is legit really, really good. I'm not trying to be funny. He's actually amazing. And he was my opponent. And to be 100% real with you, I did not expect to win. I thought I was going to lose. But as the title says, I had to turn up. I turned up. I turned up. I beat him somehow. I got lucky. I got super lucky. But today, I just want to watch. I want to look back, watch the match because I was so nervous. I do not really remember what happened. I just know I got lucky at the end. So let's watch it together. Let's enjoy. And again, I stand by what I said. Now that, now that I fought him man to man, man to boy, I stand by this stance. This kid is like the future, man. He's terrifying. He's only 11. I'm almost 40. I've had 25 plus years of fighting and experience because I've been playing the game for like a year. And just know I'll never fight him again. That's it. I'm taking this win. I'm running. I will never fight him again. But anyway, hit that sub button. Follow Leo, man. Do not follow him if I got to fight him again. But anyway, let's enjoy. I don't know what to see. I don't know what to expect. It's been a while. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are. By the way, who is that guy? Wait a minute. Who is that? Who's this six foot ten Adonis Greek god? Hairline. Insanely crisp, by the way. Who was that? Oh, that's me. Oh, shit. My bad. But there's Leo. His mom there. I like his mom. His mom is a chaperone, by the way. So Leo's only 11. Shout out to Fubar here in Caliber. Try to get to the regulars, but uh, there's rules, right? So Street Fighter is a teen rated game. So for these kind of events, like Leo's not allowed to enter. They're, they're quite strict in Japan. Like, he's not allowed to enter because of the Cero rating, I think. So he has to have his mom always there as a chaperone. Kind of like seeing the PG-13 movie in the States. So I heard he's been traveling around to a lot of events. His mom's always there supporting him. Very, very cool. Love to see it. But I'm sorry, Leo. He thought he was fighting just some random, like, supermodel. But no, this is the scene champ with the blurry camera. I'm talking myself up, but this match, by the way, it was ugly. I actually don't want to watch it. I'm still scared. All I remember, oh, let me get a little fist bump to the little dude. Doing the arm stretch. By the way, that was his first fist bump. Look at it. He didn't even know what it was. The fist bump. Look at it. The confusion in his eyes right now. He's like, huh? What's this old ass dude talking to me for? He's like, all right, there you go, bro. All right, weirdo. All right, fine. There you go. He'll learn. No more handshakes in FGC, right? Fist bump. He's a little bit chilly. Warming up the hands. Warming up the hands. I see. I don't want to lose. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit stressed right now. Now, before the match starts, I do remember, though. This is what I do remember. I do get my ass kicked early on. But, hold on, hold on. Now, before this starts. Now, listen, listen. Let me go back to the full screen. Again, I'm being serious. The only reason I won was because we watched his matches on the stream. And that, that also is like a pretty good lesson on why like studying and data is important. We watch his matches on, on stream and on YouTube and we're like, this kid is an aggressive monster, right? I knew this going in. I was like, this guy rushes down like crazy, fearless, the power of youth. So I expected that from the start. I was like, he's going to rush me down like crazy. Let's watch what happens in the first round. <sighs> Bro, leave me alone, dude. Bro, leave me alone. You're 11. See, I got scared, DP. Leave me alone. Three drive rushes so far. Four. Throw. I'm burned out. Inescapable. I couldn't do anything about that. Yeah, it was guaranteed. Count it, confirm. I got my ass beat. Okay. I got absolutely destroyed. Absolutely demolished. Dog walked, as the kids would say. But I expected this. So this this is good. If this was a random guy I never fought before, it would have been over. I would have been done. I'm like, oh my God, I'm helpless. But we watched, we studied his tapes. I knew Leo is a very, very aggressive player. Offense on another level. So that was a, a Leo round. I was like, okay, he's going to dat. He drive rushed me. I was like, just watch out for the drive rush from now on. I tried right there. See how I counter it? I tried to, I tried to anti or DP that. Aggro, nice confirm from Leo. And then he's got the setups. I'm out. Hey, there. Okay, now we're starting to counter, right? 
Is that okay? Those are failed DP, but it still work. I'm starting to see it. Like, he's going to hold forward. He's going to attack me. I'm still scared, though, by the way. Yes, yes. Modern God? The modern God? That's the other thing, too. Nah, you... Watch this, though. Hold on. I still don't believe this, by the way, right? I still don't believe this, right? So wake up, heavy knuckle. I'm like, okay, the power youth, okay? All right, you're funny. Pretty good. Okay, confirms in the super. I'm like, all right, that's a good choice. But I got one meter. Okay, I got a meter down here. I got three bars up here. I can do this on wake up. I can EXDP on wake up. I can do all this stuff. I'm 100% thinking this, right? I'm like, okay, I'm probably going to EXDP, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it rip. I'm not afraid. EXDP. Send it to Say Jam, yeah. Ship it over to Say Jam. Are you kidding me? There was zero thought in my mind that I would die right there. I'm not, I, I was, I legit, I was shocked. It's like, are you kidding me? I was feeling good. Honestly, when I got hit, I was feeling good. I was like, okay, he burnt everything. He's in burnout. I got meter. I'm pretty good, but I got smoked. I didn't give up yet, though. I didn't give up yet. First of two, he ran in. Wild drive rush and a drive impact. Get my back blown out. It's fine, it's fine. Again, aggression is there. Aggression is there. Okay. Again, that was again. Aggression, aggression, aggression. There we go. Come on, Gina, let's go. Okay. Nasty. Oh, that was a drop combo for me, but bro, backdash and his match on DI. Are we lost? So those three rounds in a row, okay? I got perfected in the first one. And again, I'm be serious with you. I'm being 100% real. I still wasn't concerned. This, this is a very important skill as a tournament player. Although, actually, I'm, I'm rambling like crazy, but it's kind of like when you play fighting games long enough, like being able to put on the scouter like Vegeta and be like, understand their power level, like what you can do. It's so like being able to adjust mid-set is very, very important. You don't want to adjust on the very, very last round. It's a little bit late here, but I, the whole time I was like, wait, I can, it's going to check. Check these jumps, these drive rushes. And I noticed on defense too, when I did have a couple times so far, I like jumped, he, he mashed on grab. He was mashing, I was like, wait a second, his defense ain't that crispy. This boy's all offense. There we go, hold on. Modern God reacting? Another one, that time DI, that was kind of nice. He's reacting back, oh, wait a minute. Side swap? Yep, side swap. I thought DP. He didn't actually DP. I, I bait a lot of DPs, but he didn't DP at all. Nice. Oh, my God. I'm nasty. Now, this is, by the way, Russ. I should have killed him. Actually, never mind. I was scared of uh, CA. See? Oh, the guy, man. Beautiful. Beautiful round right there. See, I was terrified. So, right here on net play. I still don't know if Leo has God reactions or not. Right here, you know, because he's in corner burnout. So I can DI, get the guaranteed stun, unless they got meter. So he had three bars. I don't know if he's God-like reaction. He's, he's like 11. He could probably react. I was too scared to test him. So I didn't want to go for DI here. I was too scared. The other thing, too, let me, uh, again, again, for all you young kids who are still watching, tournament math, right? He won three in a row. He beat my ass. I won one. If I win one more, you're dead even, right? A lot of times, like, you're looking at like what happened before. You're like, oh man, that happened. But you tie up. If you tie up, nothing mattered before. All you do is win two. You got it. Guys got to be salty. Salty old dog like me, man. Ah, I DP'd that. That was a mistake, by the way. I might. What do I do? <laughs> Wake up, mash. Do I mash again? Mash God? Yes. Yes. MD double O. Hold on. He doesn't know. I invented his play style. Before you were born, I invented his play style. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what do I even do here? Oh, he checked. Nice. I'm waking up. Probably could have super there, I think. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That's the other thing. I don't think he knows about the modern. My modern wasn't even fully awakened yet. Down two buttons. Press direction and two buttons. Uh-oh. Now here, yep. Oh, my God. He got my ass. That was good. That was good. That was my fault. That was my fault. I felt myself a little bit too much. He's 11. Daigo just ate that. Tokido, Dogura, the boomers, they all got hit. 
Yeah, he, he's 11. Reactions are good. He's crispy. He's crispy. He's crispy. Hey, 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 hey. I started, yeah, I started to scare him a little bit. So this is very, very important too. I'm teaching you guys, but I hope someone teaches Leo too. But look how scared he is. So like a lot of fighting games too, when you're playing, is trying to bait out something from your opponent and see what they're doing. So look what Leo does right here on my wake up. Backs away. You see? You see how he got scared and backed away? Because in the last game, in game two, I was being a little bit spicy, wasn't I? Mashing DP, mashing on wake up, da 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 This time I did nothing, right? I did nothing, then I mashed. I caught him flinching, baby. I'm bullying an 11 year old, whatever it takes. Oh, guaranteed. Do I even know the combo? I do not know the combo, but look at that. I can react too, even though I'm 40. Okay, mash back. Okay, okay. I was mashing it. DP, modern god. No combo, but damn, I was ugly, but I'll take it. No! Oh, he's buffering? He's buffering. Don't do it. Don't test him. Don't test him. No, no, no. I don't know why it didn't work. Why did that work? I'll take it. Why didn't I die right there, though? Was he too late? Does that need to be like a punish counter? Was he shook? Too late? I'm nasty. I'm nasty. I should have been dead. He should have got my ass right there, right? He should have got my ass right there, right? Nice. Yeah, that's right. We're on YouTube right now, baby. A little delayed, right? Uh-uh. Jump? No. Bro, this cameo? Hold on. He's turning it up? Yeah, so this is where this is where he's nasty with it. He's nasty with it. Yeah, I got the momentum. This is what I'm talking about. Ready? This is the finisher. Yeah, I've been saying this one to beat Dago. You want to know why? You want to know why? Is Subar says it was the first time I did the entire match because I forgot I had that move. I was walking forward and I was like, I was supposed to do dive kick. I was supposed to do the EX dive kick. I was like, what do I do? I walk forward. I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God. I, I'm all modern. I pressed down and two buttons. I flipped. I was like, oh shit. But yes. There we go. I've done it. That is the highlight of my fighting career. I beat the 11 year old Leo. But as you see, I was fighting for my life. If he didn't drop that confirm in the round before, that would have been his match point right there. And again, talking about my experience. I'm 38, I'm 39 in two weeks. I'm playing fighting as my entire life. I have 25, more than 25, huh? He's 11? Shit, I've got almost 30 years of experience, right? He's been playing against for like two, one, two years. I can't even say I beat him. I got lucky, I would not want to fight him again. I will not fight him again. He will be a monster again, like I said before. It's just a fun little YouTube video. This kid, as long as he sticks with it, and I really hope somebody steps up to coach him. He's a bit shy. You know, I talked to Leo. He's a bit he's a bit shy still. He's a, he's a kid, right? And this event was massive, right? 600 plus people there. I hope someone like, you know, get, get anybody, get any pro out here in Japan. Coach the kid. Don't push him to be like a pro, but if he likes the games, give him a little bit of help, some techniques, some more practice offline too, because I think up until now has all been online, but I, I stand by it. Now that I had a, I've had a firsthand taste of Leo's power, this, this is the future. There's another kid too. I want to watch him in another video, but there's another kid, the same tournament. He's a little bit older. I think he's like 13, 14. He finished like top 32. He beat Mago or somebody. He lost to Mago or something, but... He's beating like pros and pros and pros in all fight tournaments. So it's really good to see, especially because fighting games are not that popular. All right, enough rambling. We'll talk about another video. But with all the kids hopping on the Valorant, the Pokemon Go, hopping on the Honkai Star, I don't know what the kids are into these days. It's good to see some young, young, young kids picking up fighting games. And I'm fortunately, I'm going to be there to gatekeep at all times. But I'm looking forward to the day we get to run back. Enough, enough. All right, enough rambling. Good stuff to Leo. Looking forward to your future performance. I'm cheering for you. If you want to run back, I'll give it to you. I'll lose next time, I swear. Anyway, if you like this, I've hit the sub button. Follow Leo's journey. I'll see you next one. Peace.